So I'm putting that at 6, and that's pretty much all you need to worry about under render. So I'm going to collapse that down. Under display, we're going to leave that rendered, but I'm going to come down here to under color under the steps. Um, I'm going to bump this also up to 6. And this is, if you look at the the hair, the strand of hair, and think of like if you had a dark, uh, say like a black root of hair, and it ends up at the very tip being white, and you have that gradient of color, you know, in between there that changes. These are the number of steps that that can change along the way. So an easy way to think of this is under render, we want six steps, and under display, we want six steps here as well. So I'm going to collapse that. And now to the very important children. Uh, right now we have, we created a thousand hairs, so we got a number of a thousand hairs along this body. But if we just leave it at that, the a thousand, a thousand hairs will just have basically, depending on what you're creating, it may or may not be enough. So what the children does is it creates child hairs along the parent hairs here. Um, so you can, there's two of them here that you can choose, simple or interpolated. If you choose simple, uh, I'm going to do that right now. Actually, let me, let me back up a little bit here. Let's go ahead and assign the hair to the scalp so this will make more sense. So if you drop down, we don't need the field weights, uh, the force field settings that has to do with particle physics. Um, but we do need the vertex group because we created that group specifically so it'll place the hair on the scalp. So under density, choose that. And if I just hit S, it'll go quickly to all the S's. And I'm going to choose scalp. So as soon as you do that, you can see that it's placing the hair only on the areas that we created that group for, which is nice. This is exactly what we want. So I'm just going to collapse vertex groups. We don't have to do anything else with that. Okay, now let's go back to children. And we can see a little bit better if we choose one of these. We choose simple. We have a mess. So I think what's causing this is this radius here. So let me do point 0.1. Okay, you can see a little bit better. Maybe even go up point 0.05. Okay, so if you do simple, you get like what it's trying to do is take this, this children and put it next to logically next to the parent, but in the real world, as far as hair, it doesn't do a very good job. So then if we choose interpolated, you can see that it does a lot nicer job as far as trying to get these child hairs placed correctly. Um, simple, I believe, renders faster, but interpolated. Uh, the results are just so much better that I would say always use interpolated unless you're doing something else besides human hair uh, that you can get away with simple as far as maybe, I don't know, rugs or <laughs> something that you're using the hair particle for. Okay, so we have the interpolated. Um, looks kind of cool. And since we're going to do long hair for this woman, I'm going to go ahead and choose long hair. And all that does is it tries to, uh, as far as the children go, it tries to calculate them better as far as, um, you know, what long hair would actually do. Uh, it's not explaining that very well, but anyway, that's what it does. Just use long hair for long hair. <laughs> um, so we have some other things here that we can look at as far as effects, uh, some clumping, shape. The main thing here that I, I normally look at is length, because up here under emission, we set this hair length to be 0 0.070, which is fairly short, but we can also, we have some control under um, the length here, so we can change this as well. Just uh, one thing to think about when you do the length here, it's affecting how it's going to render, but it's not affecting the geometry. This length right here is the actual geometry that's there, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then we have some other things we can do here as far as changing the style of the hair and all that, which is pretty nice, but we'll come back to that. For right now, uh, we're pretty much ready to go ahead and start trying to do some styling. Oh, one thing I forgot. Let's go back up to under interpolated under the children. You have the 
the display and the render. And this is extremely important. If you are doing this number of emitters, um, it's a fairly high number, and then you look at your render, you're actually you're pretty much multiplying this number by your number of emitters. So if you do that, if I was to try to render this right now, I'm thinking that Blender will probably crash on me. So for now, let's knock this down to like 25. And the display is what we're actually seeing in, in the display uh, port, the viewport there. So to get a more accurate uh, view of what would render, we can change this to 25 to match it. And you can see it's much thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and do a control S save. And I'm going to render out what we have right now just so we'll get an idea of what our hair is doing at this point. Okay, so this is our rendered result. Um, as far as hair goes, it looks kind of cool to me, but it's, you know, as far as the real, you know, the realism of hair goes, uh, it could be a little bit better. So a couple of things that I want you to take note of the render as we have it, just with the, the settings that we've made right now. Uh, one is look at the, um, I guess, the specularity, the amount of shininess, where uh, you do have some variation a little bit, but that's really the lighting that's doing that right now. Um, so we're going to be updating that. The other thing, important thing that I want you to look at is the size of these hairs. Um, really thick, thick hair pieces that are coming out of there. So we need to fix that as well. So let's go back and do a control up arrow. So in order to fix the size of these hair, what we need to do, so if we look at our cycles menus here, um, basically I use all the uh, default settings here except for usually the root. And as you can see the root if you think about the root as, of course, being the root of the hair and then back out to the tip, um, the root is set at 1, so it's very thick, and then the tip is 0. So the tip's fine, you know, it's going out to hardly anything, but the root is way too big. So what I usually do here is set this to like something like 0.2 for human hair. Okay, and you can see in the viewport it made a, a difference. You can't really tell until you render, but um, I usually... Usually 0.2 works pretty good for me. The other thing that I might change here is close tip. Um, if you think about the very tip of the hair, um, instead of being hollow, that it actually puts geometry there to close it. Um, normally on hair renders, you don't see that kind of detail, so you don't really have to worry about it. So I usually turn this off. Uh, because it's going down to zero, it probably doesn't matter anyway. But in my mind, sometimes I think, you know, maybe it helps render a second faster or something. So that's basically all I set in the Cycles hair rendering settings. So let's just go ahead and collapse these as well. Come back up here and show the children. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick save. And now we can go into styling our hair. So in order to do that, make sure that you have your object selected and... Come down here and choose Particle Edit. And when you see that, or when you do that, you will see all your hair particles, uh, depending on how you have your set, your uh, setup here. So I'm going to use my middle mouse and drag this menu over. Right now I'm showing the actual segments here, the uh, particle select. So there's a few ways you can show this. You can show the path mode, which is basically just showing these straight paths or you can show the actual point selects and you can you can actually select those different points or you can show the tip select mode which will only allow you to select the tips of it so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at path select for now and if you'll notice uh, the hair behind it is, is shorter but you're seeing uh, longer hair as far as the path the reason for that is this length right here what you're seeing on the black part is 
this hair length that we set it. This is like the set in stone length. You can see these are grayed out now, like I was talking about. Once you go in to start to comb something, these get grayed out. So this length is 0.070, and then I've knocked down the overall length to this. So we can actually, if we wanted to, we can match this or put it where we want to.